Okay, um, I've just put some of the covenant together. It's got some wood glue for this piece, which is going there for the roof. This bit's G clump. This is the bottom. That's the back. It'll be effectively that'll be the front. The fridge will come up here. That's not part of it. That's just a piece. But uh, it's starting to take shape. This is the lid. That's where the seat will be on. This is the bottom. So it'll be vertical. The fridge will go in here. Then it'll be a shelf. And then battery box underneath. I've now cleared the space. Um, cleared the seat away. And I'm just going to measure where this cabinet's going and then uh, I'll get the bolts sorted out and then take it home and finish it. Okay, this is what you call a bodge job. Taking that seat off and there's the, uh, the cushion and they've got a bit of marine ply there, a bit of marine ply there with these rusty old nails to it. I mean, look at the state of that. So that's all coming off. This seat's actually a bit better, but they've both seen better days. It's a nightmare, this boat restoration business, because you start one job and then you realise you've got another one. This is the seat, and you can see it's sort of like polystyrene. Everything's a bit rotten in there. That um, front bit has come out, and look at this marine ply underneath. I mean, that is absolutely wrecked. So I'm going to have to make some new stuff for there. Happy days. Okay, this is the final placement of the chair. Um, 52 centimeters leg room in there, which has um, pushed it up closer than it was by about eight centimeters at the very most. Um, that's because we felt that the seats were too far away. And this driver's one, when I put the cabinet there, will be the same. And we were finding that it was just a couple of inches too far back the seat. And you were having to strain your back forward to use the steering. So that's an improvement. Here we are, I've got the uh, the nuts are all, the bolts are located and they're in. Four of them, it'll be uh, fairly substantial. And uh, that's job done from that point of view. Okay, here we are. Half past 10 at night and finally got a working fridge. There's the battery underneath. You can see around the side of the uh, cabinet, which will be the front. I've now got battery isolation switch and three switches, of which you can see this one's on, and that's the fridge. They will light up. I've just got to uh, put a negative back to my bus bar. I'm just going around the back. I've got the negative bus bar on that side. And I've got positive coming up to the isolation switch from the battery from there to a positive bus bar and then I've got some circuits coming up to a fuse box in there then to the switches and it's all working.
recharge will be provided by 100 watt solar panel. Put in there to cover up there, and I'm going to spray glue it to stick it on. That's good. Like the other side here. Uh. And you've got to put the bolts through from yeah. the bottom through to the top, hold two pieces. That's good. Of and then the cushion will go up on Velcro. Uh, placement of the solar panel just for illustration needs to be moved forward so I've got to move this fixing this light's all rotten anyway so I'll be replacing that okay I've just um, cleaned the roof where the solar panel is going I'm uh, halfway through T cut in it once I've done that I'm going to polish it and then I'll just sand the areas where I'm going to apply the feet they're going to stick the panel. Okay, it's a race against time now to get it on before it goes dark. Uh, you can see where I've, I've polished all this roof and I've roughed up the four bits where the feet are going to go. Just about see that. And now I'm going to stick the feet on and do the solar panel hopefully before it gets dark. Okay, that's the first one. Got Sikaflex on. Sikaflex 291. And uh, I'm going to stick it on. In the nick of time, uh, in more ways than one, because it's just started raining. Let's put those underneath. Okay, the um, outside bit of this solar panel bit's finished. You can see it's all plumbed in, sicker flexed on. Quite solid, and there's where the uh, the wire goes down. I haven't finished that inside yet. Take a look inside. Okay, excuse the mess. I haven't got the seat on yet, and I haven't plumbed this wire in correctly yet. That's going to be neatened up and taken behind this. So it'll basically come down here. This is the idea anyway at the moment. Through here and then behind this and into the back of the cabinet um, as you can see the fridge is working you might be able to hear so I've got a few things in there at the moment needs a bit of a clean and uh, the seat will be on top of that there's the switch and there's the solar controller and the all important figure is this sunshine is giving me 5.5 amps at the moment, which is great. Um, you scroll through menu, monitoring, so it shows you that there's a cloud, it just gone down to 3.8. As it brightens up again, it changes, and that's PV photovoltaic. So a quick word about how this cabinet's secured. Um, there's four bolts underneath, solid, and I've secured it to these two brackets here. You might be able to see if I can get down the back there. It's got some silver brackets on the back, which are then screwed onto those black brackets, which are screwed to this side of the boat. Okay. The um, fridge cabinet's completely in place now. As you can see, I've uh, fitted the seat onto it. And the seat actually swivels around. And um, we've managed to acquire this uh, excellent step because the, the seat height has gone up about uh, an inch and a half to two inches to what it was. And it was already quite high. But um, I think you'd agree the uh, seat's looking good where Lou's worked on it. So I'll just show you it. You just pull this forward and then literally you can move this seat so you can move it sideways so the passenger could speak to the driver. You have to excuse the mess in the middle of jobs. 
and the other way is you can face any guests sitting on the back. Um, this wire at the moment is from the solar panel, it's been partially tidied up. We've got a few extra clips that need to go in here and um, this is I'm going to drill a hole through there. It's going to disappear behind and you won't you won't see this. Thank you.